Hey Egyptology lovers, welcome back. So today we're going to discuss a graffiti that's inscribed on the tomb of Thothmosis, Thothmosis IV at the Valley of the Kings. You can find this graffiti on the wall. This was a graffiti for renewal. So a person was commissioned to renew the tomb of Thothmosis IV in order to repair its damage 70 years later which was under the rule of Horemheb, which is the last pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. But Thothmothus IV ruled in the, uh, the 18th dynasty as well. So he was the next pharaoh after Thothmothus III. So let's read the inscription. It's four rows. It starts over here on the right. And the first thing, it's going to give the titles and the date. After that, the person who created the tomb is going to have his titles. And then it's gonna, we're going to know the name of the person. And we're going to name the name of the father or the father of the person. And then the mother. And then we're going to finish off as what was done in this tomb. And that's it. So what I do is I divide the text for you. This is hieratic script. This came kind of at the same time as uh, ancient Egyptian. Uh, so it was more cursed to be able to write faster and quicker on papyrus, on tombs, on whatever they could. And hieroglyphs were mostly reserved for more lit liturgy, hymns, something more uh, sacred. So here we go. So it's starting here on the right. And this is, I've written the English on top of every word. So here it goes. It goes, the year eight in the month three, every season had four months. So they had three seasons of Achet, which is the summer. Under the majesty of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt. So this is a, the title of the throne name. And here you have the name of the pharaoh who commissioned this. This is known as Jesser Keperure Setep Enre. This is the name, throne name of Horemheb. This means the sacred are the manifestations of Ra, the uh, chosen one of Ra. And then you have the personal name here. Uh, again, you can see they're surrounded in cartouches. You can see this little half circle here with a line in the back that closes the cartouche. And over here you have Son of Ray, another cartouche that opens up. It says Amun, Horus, Heb, In, so festival. So Amun, Horus, festival, In, and then you have the word beloved. And the way this is read is, the way it was designed is you have the name of Horm Heb in the middle, which is Hor M Heb, which means Horus is in festival and beloved of Amun, and that's his name. And you, I'm written it up here in English. So if you purchase this, you'll have all the words. Going on here, now we move on to the second row, which is the titles of the person who commissioned this. Now he's giving honor to himself. But first he gives honor to the Pharaoh, now to himself. It says, he was commanded by his majesty, and there is a blessing here of life, strength, and health. It's a way of blessing somebody, say have a blessed day, but you give this honor to a person. And you say, it was placed in a pond of, this is a title that was usually saying a command was given, but it's divided this way so you know each word. So it's placed in a pond of. Commanding the fan bearer, so this is the first title of the uh, person who was commissioned to do this, the inscriber. The fan bearer upon the king's right. So it was an honor to have these type of titles, to be on the right of the king, the left of the king, a fan bearer, a cup bearer. So this is a very important title. So the fan bearer upon the king's right. This person is the royal scribe. He is the overseer or steward of the treasury. So he took care of the money. He was the overseer of the workers in the place of eternity. The place of eternity is the Egyptian word for the Valley of the Pharaohs. So that's how we know that this is the Valley of the Pharaohs. It's known as the place of eternity. Continuing with the titles, here he is the director of the Festival of Amun. So the Festival of Amun occurred uh, in the Opet Festival of bringing Amun to his temple in Thebes. Uh, so he was moved around Egypt as a way of celebration. And the festival of Amun was done where? In Ipetsut. Ipetsut is the ancient Egyptian name of Karnak. So now you know the name of the Egyptian name of Karnak, which is Ipetsut. Karnak is a Latinized name. Uh, fun fact as well, if you want to know about Luxor, Luxor is Ipet Resut. So Karnak is Ipetsut. Well, now, we've now we discover the name of the person who put this graffiti after he finished the work. His name is Maya. All right, he is the son of the dignitary. Uye, that's his father. So obviously these, these titles are uh, nepotism kind of. Uh, family, family members take on the dignitary roles of their, uh, their, um, their parents. So it just kind of gets passed on. He is also uh, born of, now the father is introduced. Now he is born of the mistress of the house, Uret. Uret is his mother and she is the mistress of the house. So she is the, he is born of the mistress of the house, Uret. 
All right, we're finishing off the last row here. So the last row tells us what was done in the tomb. So this is what kind of work was done. Over here, you have the word renewed was the burial. So the tomb was renewed of the king. And now we get the name of the king from which the tomb was renewed. It was Thothmosis IV. He is Men Keperure. So Men Keperure, which means established are the manifestations of Ra. He is true of voice. Now, this is a title given to the deceased. When you die, they wish you you are true of voice. That means your heart is clean and pure. So when you enter the judgment hall and the scales of judgment in the afterlife, that your heart is weighed perfectly against uh, the feather of Ma'at. And finally, it has, where was this? It was in the dwelling or in the res residing place, which is the precious Western Thebes. So it was in Western Thebes. That's where most people died. They were buried in the west side because that's where the sun had set as well. And that's it. That's the translation for this. Now, this is all marked with English. It's divided the words. I put the titles of the Pharaoh, the throne name of Hormheb, and the personal name, and the throne name of Thothmosis. If you like this uh, papyrus, I'm going to put a seal, a wax seal of my name here, and it will be inscribed with my stamp, which I use for uh, Thothmosis over here. This is his hieroglyph, and these are his two titles. The one on the right is Lord of Khenmu, which is Hermopolis. That's his city location. And on the top uh, left above him is the Great God, one of his titles. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is just one graffiti of so many that Egyptians leave, and it was very acceptable to leave graffiti on walls. If you like this video, please comment, like, and let me know if you want more, and I'll just do some more of these as time goes on. Thanks again for watching, and take care.